2013, you're running Suzuka's official MX effort in the UK with a new sponsor too. Tell us about your sponsor and your team structure. Uh, basically, uh, we have a sponsor called Heads and Orfreds. Um, Stuart and Gary is a big part of them. Uh, they've been helping a guy called Luke Burton this year on a 450 Honda, who I've been helping a little bit as well. Um, and it's good because it's a new sponsor coming into motocross and um, it's very hard to find people outside the industry. So this, this is good for motocross. Obviously it's the right time for me to do something different, come to Suzuki. And um, to me it's a completely new challenge. Suzuki are really interested in pushing their bikes and they have fantastic bikes. You know, the last two weeks I've been working with them, you cannot fault the bike. I've been a bit minded that I've always been with Honda, but basically trying another brand, it's, it's quite surprising the differences and uh, some areas it's better. And to me, it's, it's a good, it's a good um, structure. Neil's just confirmed you're going to be riding Suzuki in 2013. Can you tell us a bit about yourself, uh, where you're from, what your influences were for motocross in the first place? Yeah, I'm from uh, Carrick Fergus in Northern Ireland. Um, I got into motocross from my dad. He was a professional road racer. Um, he raced in Northwest and um, also local, um, local racing. Um, yeah, that's how I got in. Yeah, I'm from uh, Leicestershire, in the outskirts of Leicester. And uh, pretty much I got into motocross through my older brother. Started off at an amateur level, AMCA, and I started off going to watch him. And uh, I really liked sport. Obviously, as a young lad, I rode BMX and whatnot. And then uh, I wanted to go to another level, so I looked to a motorbike to take me there. And then um, from there, I just progressed and moved on, pretty much. Uh, your most memorable moments in the sport so far? Um, probably winning the first round of the British Championship in 2010. Uh, the first race of the year was a good start to the season. Um, and also riding for Team Ireland in uh, 2009 and 2012 for the Nations. Um, I've had a lot of ups and downs pretty much, but uh, my highest point is uh, as, a, as a young boy, we're winning the uh, BSMA final championship um, in 2000. Um, oh, what else was it? There was a... Um, I won a BYMX in uh, Desert Martin as well on a KDM, and uh, that, that was then most of my highest points really. And ever since then, I've had a lot of injuries that have played my career, and uh, that's why I've, obviously I've gone with Neil to try and put me on the right track. Your 2012 season, you finished fourth in the British Championship and uh, third in the Red Bull Pro Nationals. Took the overall at Hawkstone too. How do you feel it went as a whole? Yeah, it was a really up and down, uh, up and down year for me. I had a couple of bike um, uh, problems, um, which sort of lost me. Out, I think on the on third in the, the championship, but no, uh, I tried my best, um, and it's to learn, learn from what um, the mistakes I made from this year to, to try to get that next step for next. 2013, as we said, you joined Neil and the new Suzuki team. Uh, what are your feelings, goals, and uh, more importantly, aims for uh, this season coming? Yeah, I don't want to put too much pressure on myself, but um, yeah, I really, really want to want to win that British Championship. Um, it's what I'm going to train all winter for. Um, you got to be consistent to do so. So if I'm on the podium every week, I think by the end of the year it should be should be there about. Uh, my main goal is to stay consistent. Um, I don't want to put too much pressure on myself, obviously. Um, obviously, I want to be in the points every week, top ten. I'm happy with a top ten for a start. But obviously I want to progress further than that, but I just want to keep it realistic for a start, really. And you've ridden the bike already? Yeah, I rode the bike the first time yesterday. Um, Jailed with it straight away from, from lap one. Um, yeah, I've done a few lap times, and lap times were dropping as the day went on. Um, it was a totally, totally standard Suzuki RMC at 250. And um, yeah, I really, really gel with the bike.